I'm still very young and I'm just second year student at wow. Dubai University yeah. and I I was honored to be the president. But before last year I was actually the secretary of the, to our Toastmasters Club. So it was like a transition movement from secretary to the president. So for me, it was beginning, it was so excited because finally I could put some of my ambitions, some of my ideas into our club. But the thing turns out that in the beginning of September, our club also experienced some crisis like summer Kanna because throughout the meetings, we only have five members and four out of them are club officers. <laughs> <laughs> so you could see that it was actually the beginning of the semester. So we need to show how our club is great comparing to the other student clubs in the university. But it was so hard because I also had the time when I take three roles in the one meeting and uh, some of my club officers give speeches and um, like take the roles at the same time. So, but, but we persisted. I mean, I really appreciate my team. Uh, four of us persisted throughout the whole two months for the PR campaign, membership campaign. And now we have like 17 officially registered club yeah. members. So, it was a great job, I would say. And um, so now the present for me is that probably it's not an honor, but somehow like a, a responsibility, of course. But sometimes I feel like uh, I'm the mother of all the Toastmasters in my club, actually. <laughs> so that was a new feeling, yeah. We have so many people. When when I started, it was first <coughs> July. Uh, so before that, um, I planned so the book history, right? So the first moment started when I started thinking uh, what I should do next. So just a short brief story. Uh, I started my journey more than two years ago and the uh, End of last year, I finished the complete complete communication track. Co communication track at all, more than forty plus speeches. Mm -hmm. I almost finished the leadership track, so it was like a, the almost the highest level what was achieved so during. If we go to certificates, right, uh, grinding up to that. But then I thought like I was the treasurer, and what is the next goal? So the next goal and the, the highest in the club is the president. And I started planning my presidency from January. So. The uh, members, uh, for you who want to be potential leaders, if you want to plan something, plan in advance. And if you have two, three, five months in advance, uh, it is a really huge opportunity because I talked a lot with the previous president, Salat. I talked a lot with the uh, previous president from the University. I, took, well, I spoke a lot with the uh, Indira, the, the previous president from and it gave a lot of insights what to do, what not to do. And when we started, uh, as I told, I felt like I'm doing nothing. But honestly speaking, when you have plan, it is really very easy because you know where you can fail and you just plan in advance what several steps you need to take so that the critical moment, the catastrophe can be really small. So it really helped to, uh, for example, the one short story with the uh, surgeon at arms, he is actually he is currently working in the Atra with the in the oil sphere when the guys go to 28 days to work there 28 days to stay relaxing here so for 28 days we don't have surgeons at all so for the first his little work that we had left I was the surgeon so I thought like oh it was too much right being the president and surgeon as uh, Sultan I perfectly understand and uh, uh, Ikar perfectly understand me but then uh, we changed something, and uh, now we have two ladies, Wata and Unan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So in this way, it helped to in uh, increase the and the, uh, the number of people who are responsible. So this is uh, in the end, like planning in advance always works. Yes, uh, I remember I was asked one time in Toronto. I was a uh, surgeon at arms, and they. Uh, doing the presidential stuff, and I was like, no, I will never do this again. It's actually really <coughs> hard to perform so many roles, and I'm just very uh, surprised how you guys have been doing like for the whole year. It's just crazy. It's just, you know, because, you know, it requires a lot of energy, yes? So because, and you need energy for yourself, too, not only giving to others. Okay, so the next question is, are you a 
born leader or did you or did you become one? Yeah. So from the childhood you want to organize everything, you know, or or you gain it into leadership skills. Um, uh, in terms of my um, experience, actually, probably not most of you know uh, that I was born and brought up in China. So uh, I was I was totally uh, introvert when I was a child. I used to like reading stories and playing with dolls. And um, but like there is some kind uh, some part of me called passion. I always want to help someone else. So that turns out that in the primary school, I became like the school event organizing committee, head of school organizing committee, but it was still like a small practice because you were very young and you don't know what to do. But, uh, and then I moved to Kazakhstan. At that time, I faced a lot of language barrier and I feel like I was lost. Uh, I lost all my like leadership like skills and all the, a lot of passions in my life. But gradually when I get comfortable with my, um, language, especially when I applied for another bio university where English is the official languages. So I got to know that I could take those chances. And at that time, uh, when I first, uh, when I was enrolled in NU, I, we received some emails from different clubs and actually Toastmasters uh, grabbed my attention because they called that they are where leaders are made. So I want to know how I can improve and um, I just went to the meeting at that time, the person who inspired me most was also Asif Ulujadov, who used to be who used to be our coach. And I found that he also liked helping people, and uh, he is a true leader. That he do a lot of uh, he did a lot of things for volunteering basis. So I got inspired, and uh, throughout the last two years, I got inspired by a lot of Toastmasters, not only from a new Toastmasters and also from ATC because Ilan, for example, was also coach of our club last year and he also inspired me a lot. Uh, so gradually I found out that this is a gradual process to how to be a good leader. So the, the, the thought I, have, I had before about leadership or communication two years ago when I was a new member of Toastmaster and now who I am right now is totally different, like black and white. So 